Hello everybody, uh, my name is John Carlos Mendez. Uh, my, my teammates are Gennardi Sanchez and Pierre and B. Focum. Uh, this is going to be a video demonstration of our assignment number 8 for CS6310, 6310 Software Architecture and Design. So this is a virtual machine that you're going to download and in the desktop there will be two very important folders. The first one is the one called Assignment 8. So Assignment 8 includes um, our uh, two jars. So one jar is going to be like uh, our, our command line interface and the second jar will be its equivalent but with the GUI and alongside is going to have some other files which you may ignore and please don't delete because these files are used for data persistence and data mining. The other folder in the desktop is assignments, assignment 8 test files and they include uh, the assignments per cycle, courses, requests per cycle, instructors, records, prereqs, etc. So to start off what you have to do first is to copy all of these files, paste them into this folder. So essentially just make sure that all of these files that are to be read are in the same directory as assignment a.jar. And so go into the terminal. So um, cd into the folder. And as I said, Previously, this is going to be a, de a video demonstration of our command line interface. Uh, our GUI is going to be demonstrated in a different video. So for now, just do java minus jar assignment 8 dot jar and let's do initial. So uh, when you run initial mode, it's going to first off, it's going to kick off by running the a priori algorithm on our records, so records.csv. And it's also going to load the data from um, all the instructor assignments. So the first thing now in this part we can start selecting instructors for the upcoming semester. So let's select zero first. So just do like in the instructions it says just add zero, um, add four. If you add a crazy number it's not going to work. Um, add one, add two, add three, add five, um, add 7, add 8. So when we had set, when we added 7, we already, we already had 5 selected. So now when we try to add 8, we can't. So we have to delete 1. Let's delete number 7. Then add 8 again. And now um, everything is fine. We have 8, 5, 2, 1, and 0 selected. And the other one's unselected. So now we're ready. We can do submit. So we submit onto the next semester. And what happens is that this runs. So it runs the, the, uh, the request for semester one. So request um, underscore one, basically. So it goes through each request. And it is valid or not, depending on the various criteria. Um, after that, you get a really nice summary of what's happened so far. So we examined six, two were granted, three failed, and one was waitlisted. Um, in the records, um, the two that were granted, one of them was an F, the other one was a C, so these grades were randomly granted. Um, and poor Jeffrey got into the waitlist. So notice how Jeffrey is 21 and he tried to enroll on course number 13. Now, let's not continue the simulation and run cycle number two in resume mode. So just like previous, so just like in the previous mode, I mean, just like in the previous cycle, uh, it begins with the a priori algorithm. But now, it's going to display the assignments for this upcoming semester. Uh, so now we do add seven, add eight, add two, add nine, add four. Display. So these are the ones that we selected: two, four, seven, eight, and nine. Now, when we submit again, uh, it goes through the entire process again. So notice how the first request on this cycle is 2113, which is Jeffrey from the previous cycle. So what happened here is that Jeffrey was waitlisted. And um, in this new semester, he was the first one that got um, the chance. So once Jeffrey was done, uh, we got here an updated, um, like updated statistics. Uh, this this time we examined seven. Only one was granted. Four failed. Uh, two were waitlisted. So the one that was granted was 
this one, 21, 13, 19. And the two that were waitlisted were Carol and Lily. So, continuous simulation, sure, why not? Um, same as always, display. Let's select a few. Let's select um, add um, two, add six, add, oh, right. Um, um, add zero, sure. Add five and add seven. Now, when we submit once again, the same thing. Um, it goes through all of the processes. This time four failed, two were granted, six listed, and now we get the grant total. Um, the ones that were granted were these two, A and C. And these are all the wait listed. They are going to have to wait for the upcoming semester, uh, for the upcoming semester where they will hopefully have better instructor selection. So thank you very much. Um, the graphical user interface will be displayed on a separate video. Uh, but that's it. Thank you so much.